how to start a food blog, food blogging tutorial. So what is going on guys? In today's video, I'm gonna be walking you step by step on how you can start your very own food blog today. And the good news is guys, if you're completely brand new to like creating websites or just, you know, technology in general, or even if you're like a pro, this video is gonna be ideal for you so you can actually have your very own food blog, you know, up and running. And all you have to do is just simply watch this video till the end, follow the instructions, and you have your very own food blog up and running so with that being said let's begin today's video on how you can start your very own food blog all right so let's begin today's tutorial so the first step we're going to be going over in today's tutorial is first of all choosing and registering your very own domain name and the good news is guys i'm going to be showing you how you can get your very own domain name for free which is a pretty cool bonus right and obviously to have a blog you need to have a domain name okay it's a necessity now step two is going to be all about choosing your very own hosting provider and again to actually have your blog online on the internet you need to have web hosting right after we have this all sorted out then we're going to have to move on to step three which is all about getting our very own blog you know set up for free and we're going to be using a blogging platform called wordpress in fact wordpress is the most popular blogging platform on planet earth so if you want your blog to actually be really successful if you wanted to like rank on the search engines like on Google and Bing and get traffic and ultimately just you know do well then WordPress is going to be the best option for you but if you're all ready to go let's get started so the first thing you want to do again is just simply head over to Bluehost through the link down below in the video description which you can click on to be taken to Bluehost right here and with that exclusive link down below in the video description you'll be getting a free domain name and a massive massive discount on your web hosting okay to have a food blog you must have a domain name so people can actually find find your new blog and you must have web hosting as well so you can actually power your new food blog online. Now if you don't know much about Bluehost, Bluehost actually powers over 2 million websites worldwide which is pretty insane all around the world and they're actually recommended by WordPress themselves. And what I really like about Bluehost as well is that they actually install WordPress for you which just makes life a lot more easier when you're starting your very own blog. And on top of that guys they do actually offer a 30 day money back guarantee. So the good news is guys if you're ever unhappy or want like a refund you can just contact them and you can cancel your Bluehost account and get a refund now a bit of a disclosure I am an affiliate so that basically means that if you do decide to actually purchase Bluehost from my affiliate link down below I will receive a commission and this is of course at no extra cost to you whatsoever in fact these links will only help you save money as you'll be getting some exclusive deals and discounts through those links down below. So once you click the link down below in the video description, you'll be taken to Bluehost, obviously on the homepage, and you can click on the green button right here that says get started. Let's just go ahead and click on the get started button right here. And once you click that button, you'll be taken to this page right here where you'll see a bunch of different pricing plans. So you'll see a basic plan, the plus plan, the choice plus plan, and a pro plan. Now, I recommend going with the basic plan just to start off with because it's the cheapest option for you. And if you have more than one website, then I would probably recommend either the plus plan or the choice plus plan because those um, plans in particular actually let you have unlimited websites. Now, the pro plan right here, obviously that's the most expensive plan and the most powerful plan. That plan is something I would recommend down the track once you start making some like really good money and start getting like a lot of traffic on your blog. So for now, I'm just gonna go ahead and choose the basic plan right here. All right, so once we actually choose a plan for ourselves, we'll be taken to the set up your domain page where we can get whatever domain name we want completely for free right so um, as you can see on screen right here if you already have a domain name you can always enter your domain name on the right right here if you already have your very own domain name if you don't already have a domain name and you want to get a free domain name you can actually create a new domain name right here as well you can choose a .com you know a .online .site .website so I'd probably recommend a .com you know extension if possible as that's the most reputable extension and you might not have a domain name in mind straight away so you can always click down below right here and actually skip this step and create a domain name later but still actually get your web hosting set up so that's always an option as well so i'm going to go ahead and put in a domain name so i can get a free domain and click on next right here okay so we are on the page right here where we can actually create our very own bluehost account so this is where we're going to be putting in our information so we can actually create our accounts so obviously the first name right here the last name 
um, you know, the business name, that's obviously optional, the country, so I'm from Australia, and some other information, including your email address, so I'll make sure to obviously put in your best email address so you can actually, you know, create your account and get your, you know, credentials sent to you. Now, if we scroll down below, um, you can see under package information that you can actually choose your account plans. You can either choose the basic 12-month price package right here, the basic 24-month price package, and the basic 36-month price package. Now, as you can see on screen right here, the longer you actually purchase hosting for, the more you'll actually save up front. And obviously, as you can see, you know, primary domain registration is free. Let's Encrypt SSL is, again, free, which is awesome. Now, if we scroll down below right here, you can see there's a bunch of package extras on screen. Honestly, out of all the extras, the only one I'd recommend would be domain privacy plus protection, simply because if we click on more information right here, domain privacy pretty much replaces your own personal information, like your full name, your address, your phone number with Bluehost's information, so your information is actually private in the public Hillwiz database. Like I said before, all these other package extras aren't really a necessity, especially because you can actually get a lot of these tools for free from other places. But if you do want to get any of these package extras, feel free to do so. Now, if we scroll down below, you can see the payment information section. So obviously you can, you know, pay via credit card or you can choose more payment options and, you know, pay via PayPal if you want to pay via PayPal. And once you fill this information out, you want to hover over this um, checkbox right here and click on I have read and agreed to Bluehost's terms of service. And of course, you can take the time to actually, you know, go ahead and read those terms of service. Now, all you have to do is just simply click on the green submit button right here to be taken to the next step. All right, so now that we've gone ahead and done all the other previous steps, all you have to do now is just simply go ahead and choose a password for your new Bluehost account. Be sure to check your email from Bluehost to be able to see your Bluehost receipt and to be able to go ahead and create your new Bluehost account. Now, when you look into your Bluehost account for the first time, as you can see on screen right here, you're gonna be agreed with this menu where you can name your website so for example let's just name our website imminent website tutorials and you can put in that site tagline so you, well, I can be like for example websites cool and we'll click on continue okay and then this is the step two so that you can just put in anything around here it doesn't really matter you can just put in other um they're asking you how comfortable you are with creating websites um, it doesn't really matter as well. You can just put in anything. So let's click on continue. And as you can see right here, we have a bunch of different theme templates we can choose for our website. So we can either, you know, skip this and do this step later, or we can do is choose a theme right off the bat. So for now, let's just click on skip this step. So once we either choose a theme or actually skip the step from the previous step we just went on, Bluehost will automatically install WordPress for us, as you can see on screen. And once it actually finishes installing WordPress for us automatically, again, we don't actually have to install WordPress because Bluehost does it for us, which is really convenient. So once all that's set up, it won't take too long. It will be taken to your Bluehost dashboard, which should look like this or might look something different in the future. But basically, you'll be taken to the Bluehost dashboard. And what you can do right here is literally, as you can see down below, you'll see a couple of recommended things you can do to get your new blog and website up and running. So obviously right here, write your first blog, add an about me page, set up categories, import your images, logo and other media. Um, don't worry about the logos and stuff. I'll show you how you can actually get logos made pretty quickly at the end of the video. So I'll give you a nice resource for that as well. How to set up your author profile and all that type of stuff as well. So now that you're on the dashboard, you want to go over here to WordPress to actually go and log into your WordPress account. All right, so we've done the most important steps. We actually have a domain name. We've basically like set up our hosting so we can actually host our website on the internet. So now we are inside of the WordPress dashboard and basically this is where all the fun begins basically because now we can essentially create our website step by step and go through everything we need basically to set up our blog and website, which is awesome. So as you can see right here, um, you'll be basically greeted with like a dashboard that's going to be similar looking like this and you can go through the steps right here to add your front page to add additional pages to view your um, website you can manage your widgets your menus turn comments on and off and learn more about getting started right here which i'd strongly recommend you guys do and as you can see right here on the left hand corner um he's basically your general navigation which is where you're gonna be spending like a lot of time on your um wordpress website right here so as you can see, um, you can go through your posts, your, um, you can obviously inside a post, you can go through, you know, and add a new post if you want, um, your media, pages, comments, so when people comment on your blog, you can see them right here. Um, as you can see right here, I do have a bunch of plugins, so another thing I want to go over real quick is plugins, so as you can see, I've installed a bunch of plugins, and plugins are kind of like different, like, customizations you can add to your website, so you can do, like, certain things within the website, so for an example, I have a plugin called Elementor, which is basically an advanced drag-and-drop page builder, which makes, like, editing your pages inside of your new WordPress blog and website a lot more easier, so... 
Um, there's actually a free version of that and a paid version. So what I'll do for you guys is actually leave a link down below in the video description where you can compare both the free plan of Elementor and the paid plan of Elementor. It's a very handy tool. This is basically what it does, as you can see on screen right here. It's a drag and drop page editor, um, literally made for WordPress. So it's literally an amazing tool and it makes life so much more easier. Um, even if you just get the free tool, which I'd strongly recommend, just actually use it because it just makes building and creating your WordPress blog and website that much easier, especially if you're wanting to create a food blog for yourself. And also another plugin I'd recommend is a plugin called WooCommerce. So basically if you want to install a plugin, for example, you can click on add new. And what we want to do basically is install a plugin called WooCommerce if you want to sell products and services on your website. If you don't plan on selling products and services on your website, then you don't actually have to install WooCommerce. But if you are, then you need to actually install it. So um, you can just simply search up, for example, WooCommerce right here in the search and it should come up. And as you can see right here, we can also go over here to popular and see the most popular plugins on WordPress right here. And you can obviously search a particular plugin if you have a plugin that you want to install in mind by searching up a keyword, um, an author name or a tag as well. So as you can see the contact form, Yoast SEO, they both have over 5 million installs, which is pretty crazy. Um, scroll down below, Elemental Page Builder is here as well, and as well as WooCommerce. And um, I'll strongly recommend installing like a couple onto your website, including Elemental Page Builder. So I'm going to leave a link down below to Elemental Page Builder in the video description so you can learn more about that plugin as well. Um, I'll strongly recommend WooCommerce as well if you're looking to sell your products and services, and Yoast SEO if you're looking to rank your website and blog on Google as well so you can get some organic traffic to your website and start growing your website to newer heights. And um, if we go over here to appearances right here, and just in general, guys, by the way, this is going to be like your main user interface where you kind of like navigate for your website. So you want to gradually over time get to know like all the different like tabs right here. So we kind of went through that a little bit today as well. So post, media, where you can upload your images, pages, comments, um, all the plugins right here. Appearances is going to be another important thing we need to do actually. So let's go over that right now because if we go over here to appearances to themes, you can actually change the theme of your website. And this is going to be very important if you want to actually customize your themes, especially if you want to create a food blog for yourself. Because like I said, during this middle of today's video, um, you can always customize and change your theme for your website or blog, which is you know important to know so as you can see right here i can essentially click on activate to make this my new theme because i have a bunch of different themes added to my website already if you want to add a new theme just click on add new theme right here and you can choose from a bunch of free themes or premium themes so um, depending on like what type of like website you want to build especially if you want to build like a long-term website then i strongly recommend getting a premium theme especially if you want to create a high quality food blog for yourself so you can stand out from the crowd and have a prestige brand of course so if you buy a premium theme for an example you can always upload your premium theme you can choose a file from your computer and just basically upload your theme right here as well speaking of themes an amazing resource i'll strongly strongly recommend if you want a high quality theme for your new blog blog is a resource called theme forest which allows you to get access to a bunch of high quality wordpress themes on demand as you can see right here we can navigate and see all the different types of themes that are available so if we go over here i'm going to leave a link down below to this as well by the way but um if we go over here as you can see there's a bunch of high quality themes we can choose from now because you're looking to create a food blog what i'll do is search up the keyword food blog right here and as you can see there's a bunch of different food blogs we can actually choose right off the bat so i've actually gone for a couple myself and i found this one which looks amazing this one also looks really high quality professional and my favorite right here is going to be this one and as you can see it just looks phenomenal so i'll strongly recommend this resource because you'll be able to find a bunch of high quality food blog templates that you can actually use for your own new food blog right off the bat so be sure to click the link down below to check out theme forest and all the themes now if you want to check out your website in real time you can actually go over here to the house icon on the top left hand corner and click on visit site if you also want to log into your wordpress dashboard you can do so via the bluehost dashboard obviously and you can go through the bluehost c panel or you can just simply type in your your website um, URL so obviously your website.com is going to be your domain name you know slash WP dash admin and that will take you to the login page where you can input your information to log into your WordPress dashboard now like I said during the start of today's video I promised I'd also recommend a service so you can get a logo made for you another amazing resource I'll just strongly recommend in general is a resource called Fiverr you can get basically you know a small task and like things done at a pretty cheap price you can, a lot of the times you can just get like jobs done 
for like five dollars for example if you want like a logo design for your new blog you can get a you know someone else to do a logo for you if you're not much of like a graphic expert me personally i like to use fiverr a lot for like graphics work and a lot of other different like small minor tasks that i wouldn't really want to do myself so fiverr is also not a great resource that i'll strongly recommend and i'll leave a link down below to fiverr in the video description as well for you all right so that's pretty much it for today's how to start a food blog tutorial video so again i hope you gained a lot of new information and gained a lot of value in today's food blogging tutorial video um again if you have any questions whatsoever by all means comment down below and i'll do everything i can to get back to you and to help you and obviously support you when creating your very first food blog so again thanks for watching today's tutorial video if you found value in today's video be sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe for more tutorial videos regarding wordpress in general and yeah thanks again so much for watching today's how to start a food blog video and food blogging tutorial video of course and yeah thanks for watching today's video